Hello, my fellow partially carved cuticles. I'm Mr. Church, and this is Vapid Valentine. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a bit of a collaboration. I'm going to be building a structure, and I'm going to bring her in at the end. And she is going to design the interior space. And we're going to be building the unfinished mansion. So, first, let's look at the map. We're right here, the unfinished mansion. And it is... A location on the map. What that means is even if we can get up to the top of that tower somehow, we can't just place our camp down on top of it because there is a boundary. But the cool thing about this game is location boundaries are domes. They're not cylinders. That means if it's possible to get our camp module down on something, we can place it above that space. So let's make some blueprints. So we all know how to make this stacked pole with a carpet blueprint where we can place it anywhere. But for the sake of this build, we're going to need something that we can place directly on that module. And what's interesting is you can actually use any floor decor for this blueprint. So find one that will place on that module. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, and then we're gonna be making a quick little blueprint with that item. So, if you can't get it close enough, you can move that bottom one. Just make sure you have two poles. It doesn't matter if they're the tall ones or the short ones or one of each. And blueprint those three items. And then, you'll be able to place that on top of the module as well as anywhere. But, this is the important thing. So, we're going to also blueprint upper floors. Now, I actually recommend blueprinting the striped uh, tile one and also blueprint one of each type of wall you're gonna and what I mean is a half wall a full wall some arches and then the the underside arch pieces which I didn't show here but believe me you're gonna need to blueprint those as well it doesn't matter which uh, build set you use because you can replace um, but you will need to blueprint these walls, and I'll show you why in just a moment. So, once you blueprint all these uh, pieces, you're also going to want to um, blueprint one more thing, and that is this half wall with um, a catwalk and a carpet wedged up next to it. And um, probably you could use any floor item because you can use any floor item. But anyway, this is this is a thing that can just be placed down any old wear. Uh, I don't remember who I first saw doing this, uh, but I know that it's a thing and I didn't make it up, so don't give me the credit. Now, we're as close as we can possibly get to this, and what we're going to do is we're going to build upwards... And we're going to try to get up as high as we can to the top of our build limit. And then we're going to try to place our camp again and then continue that upwards. And um, you might be wondering how the hell are you going to do that. You might even be wondering how the fuck are you going to do that. And to be honest, that's a fair question. Um, so obviously you can't pl just place your camp down on top of your camp items. Uh, Todd hates you and that's never been something you can do. Uh, but you can place it on a non-camp item. So if you can get a non-camp item up here, um, then you're, you're golden. So uh, there's a way to do that. If you don't have garbage to kick around and bring up here like a barrel or a crate or something, which is a lot harder and tedious when you get up really high, you can actually make one of your camp items into a ghost object which will allow you to place your camp module on it now you can use almost anything in the camp menu but it's probably easiest to use a carpet or a rug or whatever you want to call them um i would probably have called this a carpet but the game says it's a rug stand on top of that pick it up and put it back down that's all just a lot just over and over um, and if it's not glitching out and turning into a ghost item, try a different carpet, try a different server, join someone that you're friends with who might be on the other side of the world, They'll their server will have some latency issues, uh, join a server where there's lots of nukes, 
Um, maybe try fast traveling. I know the game hates you when you do that. Do something. You know, it won't take much, let's face it. And um, I just switched servers because it wasn't working and I grabbed a different carpet. And what you're going to see when it does work is the carpet's going to pop up a little bit as if you stacked two of them because we're just picking it up and setting it back down. Um, and then once that happens, you'll know it's worked. There we go. You're just going to take that carpet that's there because you've got your actual carpet here and your ghost carpet underneath. And you're going to place that off to the side. This is our ghost carpet. We can't pick it up. No one else can see this. Um, and it's not actually there. And if you leave the server, it'll disappear as well. So you'll want to do this um, in one place. Um, but as you can see, we can place the camp module on top of this. Now, I first saw uh, PSR uh, doing this. And I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description and oh it's probably good to have a jetpack when you do this um also be very careful if you fall off this you can't fast travel back up to this because the carpet doesn't actually exist so it's going to place you on the ground underneath it it won't put you on the module so be very careful now we're going to take the blueprint we just made and we're going to place this on the module it will work eventually even if it says it won't just keep fucking around with it you know whisper sweet nothings into its ear until something gives and it finally goes down which is there we go oh my god now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your stair gantry and you're gonna try to snap it to this post now in this clip, it took about three hours to try to do that very basic and simple thing, and I fell off three times. This shouldn't be this hard, um, but you know, uh, there is a reason why I'm making these tutorials instead of teaching at Harvard University, and I think we can all agree that there's no shame in that. Well, we probably won't all agree, actually, now that I think about it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stack these gantries up, which also gave me trouble because of my hand-eye coordination. And uh, once you get up high so that you're at the top of this camp bubble, we're going to do it again. We're going to place another carpet and we're going to make it into a ghost. And it's really important. I always like getting ghosted. Now see how these say you can't place them and the walls you can't place them? That's because there's no foundation in the camp. And as we get higher, obviously that's impossible to put a foundation down right now. Um, that's why we blueprinted the f upper floors and the walls. Because you can place those down, no problem. And then you just have to replace to the, to the exact type that you want. So we're going to make another uh, carpet thingy-majig. And I sped it up because... That's like a lot. It takes a while sometimes. And uh, this will take a while. And I don't recommend this build for everyone because, well, not everyone has access to, um, you know, therapy. And uh, you might need some when you're done. Uh, but if you are looking for an extra little challenge, this is something that will definitely challenge your patients. Um, but definitely, it's fun to do. When I say fun, let's not get, like, bogged down with how fun, like exactly how fun that is. Make sure you're standing on the carpet this time when you do it, and then you can pull that in with the uh, R1 or uh, button, or you can actually, um, I don't know what it is on PC, and it's probably the upper bumper buttons on Xbox. What the fuck are those called? I don't know. Why would I know that? That's some like something I should probably know when I'm giving instructions, but I just didn't look it up. Now in the comments section, there's going to be 700 people telling me what those top buttons are called. But by the time you're commenting, I will have looked it up to save you that trouble. I want you to rest your fingers today. You know, they've been getting a lot of work in lately. Um, and uh, let's just take a chill day, you know? Now I'm skipping ahead. What we did was we, we did this several more times until we were above the unfinished mansion. And then we went over. So we just went over to the edge of the build boundary, placed another ghost carpet, etc, etc, until we're above it. And I really don't want you to have to watch that entire thing, but you get the idea and you know how to do it. And then we went down as low as we could possibly get. And now what I'm doing is I have um, made these catwalks so that we can have a floating staircase. And we're going to build the whole camp off that staircase. Let's get that small holiday gift. I have these gantries here. 
They're connected, they were connected by poles, and then you can delete the poles. Do not attach upper floors to the gantries, or they will be stuck there forever. And um, the reason why I recommended blueprinting the striped upper floor is so that you can get it just right and lined up correctly when you place it down, because if you fuck that up, you will not be able to rotate it, or delete it, or move it. Once that's down, that's stuck there forever. So we're gonna get rid of, I just have these gantries here for like scaffolding while I build. You're just gonna get rid of those. Um, and we're gonna start the, this build. And this is terrifying because as I said, if you place an upper floor staircase or gantry uh, to this, it's stuck there forever. You will not be able to delete it. You will have to replace your camp if that happens. Um, just glitch out another carpet and put your camp down on that and start over. That's all you can do. So as you can see, I'm taking my goddamn time with placing this down. And if you're wondering why it's been a little bit since my last upload, I was spending those two weeks putting this one floor piece down. See, it's just, you double check it, triple check it. Um, and I will um, be uh, speeding this up in a minute. I just wanted to demonstrate how slowly I'm doing this because this is important. You're not gonna be able to change this. So, you know, take your time with it. Uh, treat it. Well, I'm not gonna make that comment. It was gonna be terrible and instead I'm not gonna say it. So now uh, we have like a bottom floor and that's cool. I think I'm gonna go over a little bit more this way. And so let me start talking you through some of the ideas for this build. So we're going for something that'll fit in with the world and with the other mansions in the area. Uh, that's a bunch of shit you can just delete. Um, but so the, the design for this will be kind of space age, uh, mid-century, uh, modern, I guess. And um, so I'm playing with different uh, designs and some different looks. And then I'm going to give up and bring in help from Vapid Valentine because she actually knows how to do that. That's her whole vibe. And um, she, like she, her builds a lot of the time have that vibe. And so I knew she would be an expert at this and I would need some help. So I gave her some beads and an extra chicken and um, a crate full of old milk and said, is this going to be enough for your help? Now, for the back here, uh, what I did was I put down that that uh, wall just to get that upper floor, in, uh, upper the roof in. What the fuck? And then I replaced that one with a flat, which allowed me to delete it. Um, but we're just trickling pretty quick here. It's a massive build, and I know you guys all have lives. So I don't want to keep you here for like three hours. Um, so if it's going too fast, don't be afraid to pause the video or slow things down. Um, I would mute it though if you had to listen to it more than once. That might cause some issues. Now we're going to use this here on this end to, um, we're going to create kind of like a uh, facade and if you fuck it up you can just delete the catwalk first and then you'll be able to delete that wall. I'm going to go on the back here. The generator thing is just an idea I was going to fuck with. It doesn't end up looking good so I got rid of it but I'll show you what I was going for in this video and maybe it's something that can be tweaked by someone I don't know. Um, but you'll see in a minute. Now I'm going to leave a gap here uh, because we're going to put a skylight there. And let's go out the back here. And I'm speeding this up. I'm, I want to be clear. If you actually place your upper floors that quickly, I will come to your house and throw your uh, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC out the fucking window. You don't deserve it at that point. You're not going to risk all this work you've made because you're impatient, okay? So please, calm down, take a chill pill, and put it in with ease, care, and slowness, okay? Uh, okay. Now, um, we're using the blueprints to place the walls down, and then we're just going to replace to the one that we need. I believe I've already said that, but I just want to be clear. I know there were a couple of you that were confused how I attach wires one time, and I don't want to... Uh, assume too much 
so let's, uh, if I need to explain something a little bit more, I apologize. I will try to do that. Um, but if you're wondering to attach a wire to a generator, you just walk over to it and there'll be like a prompt on the bottom of your screen that'll say how to attach that wire. So you can kind of get an idea there by looking at the fucking screen. Um, and then, um, so what we're gonna do is I'm doubling up the walls around the staircase um, because I need to have a double wall at the top and we have to work our way up from the bottom in order to do that. And then I'm gonna end up deleting some of the walls from below, um, but we're gonna have that double wall. And by the way, um, I think I showed blueprinting a full wall, but you're gonna wanna blueprint a doorway. It's just gonna be way easier for you. Um, just It's just way easier. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did before with the roofs. Um, if you need to slow that down or watch it again, it's pretty simple, um, but it is a little bit quick here just because there's a lot, there's a lot to this build, and I appreciate your patience and long suffering. I mean, you've suffered enough, um, but um, you know, you can't make an omelet without getting salmon. Now, wait. Y yes, you. What? So let's just do the bottom t area, and uh, there's a lot of weird flippy flapping going on, which is fine. We're gonna demarcate this area. Now, when you get over here, there's gonna be some weird wall shit happening. So you can't snap that to it. So I made this catwalk go over and then snap to the bottom of the catwalk. You see, that's using your brain. And, like, I could be using it for something useful. Let's be fair. Um, and don't worry about that dome garden thing. That's not going to stay there. I had that there as a joke only. Um, but we're going to do something differently up top. Uh, the design and layout was my design, but the uh, decoration and the interior work was 99% Vapid Valentine, once we get to that. Um, so I let her have some say in how things were laid out a little bit as well, because that uh, kind of correlated with some of the, like the furniture and the, the layout and the design of the house itself in the interior space. Um, this was kind of a, like a different way to do a collaboration, um, but I knew that it would utilize both of our strengths, and hopefully that shows in the finished product, um, and I still, you know, think that it turned out pretty good, but you will have to, uh, tell me, uh, if you disagree, because I'll, I'll be honest, uh, okay, here, I'm gonna show you a little bit slower, because I zipped through it last time, if you are trying to place that there, because of the wall below it, it's not going to snap. If that happens, put this here, snap this over to here, and then you can just snap a the floor, the wall, I mean, to the bottom of that catwalk. And catwalks are amazing, by the way. And sometimes I have wet dreams where I'm just caressing a catwalk in the night. And um, in my dream, Todd Howard comes into the room and catches us, and he just rips the blankets off the bed. And he's, and he's like a jealous lover, patches the catwalk out of the game. And, um, because let's face it, the things we can do with a catwalk are definitely not intentional, but they make 90% of what we do possible. And, um, I think that it's pretty sickening to, to know without a doubt that that's going to be something that's changed. Let's take a look at the, how it's looking. And then fall. But luckily, it. looks like Graham's not going to eat us. And that's uh, always a plus. So let's see what he's got for sale. Let's actually get back to work. What the fuck are you doing? This is ADHD. This is the actual reason why it takes two weeks to make a build. Because I was running around trading with a fucking super mutant who has a pet cow. Try, like, explaining that to someone. Hey, um... You know, how's your project coming along? Well, you know, it'd be coming along faster, but all of the wandering cows. Now, I, I saw a video by a gentleman on YouTube who I cannot pronounce his name because I am unable to speak Japanese. And I'm not going to try to do that because I'll butcher it, but I'm going to leave a link to their video up in the top corner. But they showed if you blueprinted an item, you could put it on top of a display case. And I was able to use what I learned in his video 
to um, make this cool little TV stand using this uh, robot Stein case. Um, so that's awesome. I'm going to leave a link to their uh, channel in the description. Go check them out. Um, but if it pops up at all, you can just use the pressure plate trick to merge it back down. And then you've got this cool little uh, butler robot guy holding the TV for you, uh, which is great. And now it's time for the interior work to begin. So what happened here was uh, we have deleted that table thing um, that was sticking up through the floor. The generator, it's gone forever. And so we made this space. We're going to make like a living room here. And this modular sofa is going to be bent around this uh, wall. And again, this is Vapid Valentine's work. I am just doing like so the technical shit and um the structural shit and also i did the kitchen don't i'm going to take the credit for that one but um first you know we're gonna try to sink this but then like this just floats it doesn't stand on the seat so you can't do the drop merge with these couches um, so I thought maybe if I burned it, I'd just be able to place it inside there. No. And then I thought maybe I could snap it into it because sometimes you can snap things when you can't just place them. So I eyeballed it over to here and then was able to snap through the burned one. And that's kind of how we're going to make these sectional couch things. Um, and I made this uh, about 19 times because first we had to get the conceptual idea in. And then, after it was done, um, someone decided that it would look awesome if there was, like, some kind of shelving unit behind there. And I said, that's okay, okay I'll, I'll make it again. And then, once that was done, someone also, who knows who, decided that it should be avocado green. And I said, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll make it again. But it, it's fun to make. Luckily, I enjoy it, so... It was a little tricky figuring it out with the uh, two wide um, couches because the snapping point would be gone if I did it that way. So I add an extra seat off to the end to snap to for when I move that one. See what I mean? Then, then you turn snapping off and you just grab it and place it. It drops straight down. Then you can uh, burn it. And then you can snap through that broken piece over like that and repair it. And then you've got that coolness. And then I did it on this side and it had taken so long but that it was midnight. You couldn't see. And if right now you're wondering why it's so dark, that's because the, the sun went down in the virtual video game. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to like go into the like the game and like hack it and make it be like the daytime so i didn't do that and i apologize that it's dark but we didn't put any lights in yet because we were both hyper fixating on this couch because we both suffer from adhd turns out and maybe that's another reason why this video took so long but you like i've given you several excuses so far and you can pick whichever one you want um, but the real reason is uh, so just do what, what I've been doing, burn it. And if something turns green, you can just burn it again and repair it and it'll fix it. That's just green screen, I wouldn't worry about it. And then this is basically the little simpleness of the kitchen. I put this shelf here on the wall, uh, burned it. Well, I burned the wall so the shelf would go away forever. And I took these module uh, mainframe thingies and I put them um here and this this uh stove by the way is just a placeholder i'm gonna switch that out with yasmin cow churning as one but i don't want her here while i'm uh, building because i'll start ripping my brain out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place these items back into place and then when you repair the wall the shelf will come back and it'll be uh flush hopefully if you set it up right with that. And I'm going to uh, fix that so it's a little bit higher, but that's the idea here. Now, this is an example of why I waited to put the uh, the blue oven in, even though it matches, is because she will come and sit in the seat that you're about to move, and you won't be able to move it because she's in the fucking way. Now, when annoying people 
um, are in your area, what, what you can do is you can take the flamethrower trap and just burn the fucking shit out of them. And um, you can also like do this when like people say that they don't like like your um, design idea. Um, you could also use the flamethrower trap for that. Uh, but there's there's many different ways that you could go about it. Now that's basically the whole building, the structural done, and. Um, I will show you some little things, but we're going to do a walk through the house and a lot of that stuff will become visible then. So let's look at the finished product now and we'll start on the top floor and work our way down. So this is the Tiki Bar and uh, this was, um, again, all this that I'm about to show you is the magic of Vapid Valentine, and obviously, uh, you guys should go check out uh, her channel, and she's going to have a video which is going to showcase the interior with a lot more um, artistry than I'm about to show, because I have just, you know, I'm just going to stomp around and look at shit, and uh, you might get a better idea of everything. But I use that same TV uh, blueprint method to put those... Um, little Nuka-Cola lights on that thing. And up on the desk, a uh, deck, not a desk, it's just a little place to hang out and um, enjoy the Tiki Barness. And uh, let's go downstairs. Um, and when you come downstairs, you're going to immediately see that uh, we've got like a really nice modern painting that we stole from a museum. And uh, this is the finished living room. I think it turned out amazing. And, um, I put those, uh, normal fucking wood walls in that middle and then just burned them to get those wooden pillars, which also creates a threshold to divide the carpet from the tile, which is a pretty cool technique that I got from Stole Your Sweet Roll. And, um, but yeah, it's just the way that those avocado seats just pop with that carpet is something special, I think. All this uh, cluttering and uh, the layout of the junk and the the um, decoration, of course, is all Vapid Valentine, um, which is why I asked her for help on this. I could not have created this vibe without her help. I'm a junky, scrappy builder, and this is an outside of my comfort zone. But out the window, you can see the other unfinished, the, the other mansions, and it's very sweet. This is the one thing I did do with this kitchen. I'm very proud of it. Those Enclave Light things, I got that idea from, I think, Vlad Administrator or Lucy Jane Plays. Um, I'm not sure which one, and you guys can, like, fight about it in the comments section with, like, a sharpened pool cue, and I'll place bets on the winner. And then, um, yeah, uh, this is just... The vibiness is so vibing. Let's look in the bathroom. I did do the bathroom, but the, it's just really your basic run-of-the-mill area where you can shit, piss, or take a shower. And if you don't know what that means, well, you're probably too young to be watching this video, and I recommend turning it off. Or if you're not able to yet, have your parents do that for you. Over here is the bedroom. And um, this bedroom... Uh, if you jump while you're trying to open it, you probably push the wrong button. Um, it's kind of simple. Uh, I'm sure that there were some, like, things that could be added to the bedroom, but the budget is 100%, so, uh, you, I don't know. Let's close this so we can have some privacy while we discuss. Which of these posters do you prefer? The one we got from the Atom Shop, or the one that comes in the game already? Because those are two different items in the camp build menu. Um, and I just can't decide which one I wanted, so I had them both, you know, because they're very different from each other. Now here's the butler holding the TV, and our favorite TV show is playing. And then we can come into the uh, closet. And, uh, yeah, this is just a cool little place to tie your shoes and look at what you've done. And, uh, it's all very cool, very nice. And, and... The carpet smells so good in here, like I'm starting to feel a little something something. And then down in the basement, uh, you'll see just a, a, a different vibe. Um, it kind of a moldy bar feel, uh, where we've got all this weird 
fun, red, retro, eclectic shit. And again, most of this decoration and most of the layout of Vapid Valentine. So, go check her out, subscribe to her channel, and uh, tell her that she's a good builder. Because, um, she is. But also, she's not very good at serving me drinks. Um, could I have a mimosa? Please? Ma'am? That, okay. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching this video if you made it this far. Um, if you're not already, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. Go subscribe to Vapid Valentine. Um, if you guys are not yet following me on Twitch, I stream there a lot. You can also join my Discord. All the links for those will be in the description of this video. Um, I hope you guys have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video.